everyone. My name is Kalem Bifas Mozarabukar. Um, I'm here to talk about Visiting International Academy's vision and mission and talk about what I like visiting and how I'm comfortable about the teachers. The vision is to develop and orientate the child's mind towards productivity and be of value to themselves, the, the media society and the world at large. The mission is to raise is to raise nation builders that will influence our social cultural values in a positive way through service, commitment and selflessness. I started from year two, so I've done like two years here. Glisten is a modern school. is a, everything about Glisten is based on technology. Glisten is the school of the future. Glisten is amazing. I love the food that they serve. I love the teachers. The teachers encourages me to be the best person I can be. I, I've learned how to make friends. I've learned how to be inventive. I know how to imagine. I know how to share. I know how to build things, especially in uh, maker space and in ICT. We talked about sources of water, isn't it? Yeah. Now I want you to remind me, what are some sources of water that we mentioned in our previous Deeper. lesson? Hold on, you raise up your hand. I see, give me a source of water, river, beautiful. Halima, give me a source of water, we went. Oh, we go well, the well is a source of water, beautiful. Rabia, give me a source of water. Okay, rain yeah. is a source of water. Roll it for yourselves, everybody. Yeah. Roll it very well. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Ibrahim Abbas Idu. In Glistin, we develop the child's mind from the early years to the year six in the primary section. We have events. We have the annual entire sports. We have the annual cultural day. Glistin has helped develop me in the coding area, in the ICT, and in the maker space also. We learn how to be creative, we build, and we discover. In Glisten, we do sports. We do football, we do basketball, we do volleyball. I personally, I play for the football team. We enjoy meals in Glisten. On Mondays, give them the rice and meat. Tuesdays we have the sandwich, on Wednesdays we have the rice and chicken, which everyone loves, apparently. On Thursday we have the pancakes, on Friday we have the small chops. My name is Amo Mustafa Mehaja. I am here to talk about how Glisten International Academy makes me more intelligent and about the school. First of all, I I love the way my teacher teaches me. She teaches me all, all the stuff I don't know. We learned about the solar system and other stuff. We normally do IC, ICT, that we learn how to do HTML and how to make some websites. I've been in Glisten International Academy for four years. Uh, we normally do robotics. We build, we invent, and if we're thinking we can make it. Numbers 
just like we have the 1, 1 over 8 plus 3 over 8. What I expect you to do, you extract your numerators, take them out, right? So you have 1 plus 3 all over 8. Thank you. Then you add it up. 1 plus 3 will give us what? 4 over 8. Good day everyone, my name is Mohamed Suleiman and I'm the president of the Glistin Student Parliament. So we're talking about student welfare today. And in Glistin here, we have a zero tolerance rule for students being mean on purpose. So anybody that is mean on purpose would be expelled or suspended according to what they do. And in Glistin here, we have a very secure environment. We have security guards that take care of us. It is built in a very secure location and the students are taken care of well by the management. Glistin's hygiene is second to none in Abuja. As you can see, it has improved a lot since after the COVID-19 pandemic. Because during the COVID-19, we made sure that everybody obeyed the COVID-19 protocols. They washed their hands, they used their face masks. We ensured social distancing was taking place. So as the vision of our school goes, to develop and orientate the child's mind towards productivity and to be of value to themselves, their immediate society and the world at large. And immediately from here in Glistin, we have started focusing on the main aim, which is productivity, where we have the Makerspace department in Glistin. The Makerspace is consisted of many different people. That like we have the millipreneurs, the robotics people, the cloud computing people, and different sectors. We have the eco toilet built by the students. It was built with recycled bottles, and we made a toilet that is helpful for both the students, the staff, and everybody in the school. Good day, my name is Oluwato Tinabasaya, and I am the Vice President of the Student Parliament, and I am in year 11. Good morning, everyone. My name is Musa Shihuaba. I'm the Minister of Transportation of uh, the Student Parliament, and in year 10, you'll be. If you ask me what I like about Glisten, or why I came to Glisten International Academy, I would say that it's, the environment is conducive for learning. And it's really nice because we have a basketball court, football field, volleyball court for sporting activities. And not only that, we also have labs, like chemistry labs, physics labs. And it's just a nice environment to learn and just socialize with other students. Um, one of the main reasons that made me come to listen was the fact that they empower students to learn other skills. Like, for example, the Photography, building and construction, food and nutrition help students improve their skills on one thing or the other. In my own opinion, um, this, how Glisten is trying to live up their vision is based on the technology that we have in school. Like for example, we have robotics. Um, we had a project during the COVID-19 in which we created a frontline robot that aided doctors and from the spread of coronavirus, which helped a lot of people. We created prototypes and up to now it's an ongoing project and we hope that it's not going to be only based on, it's not only concentrated on COVID-19, but also based on reducing the work for doctors, nurses, and any hospital um, jobs. In my own perspective on how Glisten are living up to their vision is through their extracurricular activities like we have the makerspace and mentoring which happens from Mondays to Thursdays where students are helped to improve in their classes so that their grades can improve and they will understand the classes more. And we also have makerspace like Millerpreneur where students get to learn different skills about life which doesn't only have to do with related to school stuff which can help them to about their, their life after school. We have trade skills like um, fishing, garment making, photography, dyeing and bleaching, in which students can also develop um, various different different types of skills that can expand their minds and 
various capabilities. My name is Osman Sray Adamu, I'm in year 11 and I'm the ex-official speaker for the student parliament of this international year. If I was asked how Clifton gives students the voice, I would say for an example, in our election, it's a free and fair election. We, go for, we make our manifestos, we do our campaign ourselves, students come and vote for who they want. And in the meal, for the body house now, we make our meal timetable. We're the ones to bring up the food we want to eat, what we feel the students feel like eating, it's our opinion. And sometimes the activities that happen in the body house, the body house manager comes to us and asks for our opinion on what we think is good for the students, making our voice matter. In the rules and regulations also, we also bring up rules and sanctions for the students that also makes our voice matter. Good day everyone, my name is Ashuru Sanusi and I'm in the Minister of Culture and Tourism. I'm here 11 Zamfara. Um, in addition to what I said, um, we surely have a voice in the school because in our parliament agendas we talk about places or ways that we can improve the school. Maybe when the problems like when toilets are spoiled, we let a letter submit to the school management or staff. I think that we have a voice in the school because anytime we take up complaints, the school reacts with immediate effect. In Blistin, we do a lot of activities like football, basketball, and they've also improved in my fitness and footballing skills. I've been in Blistin since my year 9, I'm currently in year 11. Blistin is a very safe place and a very friendly environment. Blistin employs technology. We use, we use um, devices like tablets. It makes it very easy for our students. My name is Mustafa Salu Bouala and I'm the Minister of Education in the Student Parliament of Blistin International Academy. Because Blistin like, engages us in a lot of competitions and stuff to better improve our student learning skills and stuff like that. As you can see, these are some of the awards achieved by Blistin. Like the way they teach in Blistin, you know? Anything you don't understand, you can just ask the teachers and they are willing to explain. We employ the use of the tablet and our online greatly and the way we order our talk shop online, you know, I just love listening. It is what one centimeter on your paper. So now look at that question. That if you find the actual distance, that is the real distance. If the distance on the drawing is, the first one says what? 20 centimeter. A, you have 20 centimeter on your what? Your paper. But what is going to be the actual distance if it's be on what? A plain ground.
Histoire de Allez, à bientôt, histoire de